Hello and welcome back to Coffee Collaboration from Seattle Coffee Year with me, your host Clementine. Today we're doing Taiwanese sea salt iced coffee, um, which was suggested by commenter Tony Wang. Congratulations, Tony Wang. We picked your recipe. Um, pretty excited to try it. It sounds amazing. Um, we'd like to send you a gift, but in lieu of that, please acknowledge that this confetti is for you. So Taiwanese sea salt iced coffee. It's going to be delicious. What you're going to need. You're going to need a French press if you want to make your coffee that way. Kind of up to you. We're doing French press. Uh, you're going to need a French press. You're going to need a bowl and a whisk or a blender if you like loud noises. Um, you're going to need some ice. This is kind of our ingredients side. So over here, you're going to need uh, you're going to need four tablespoons of coffee, uh, one tablespoon of regular milk, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a fourth of a, ta fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. We're going to put salt in our coffee today. And you're going to need, you're going to need a half a tablespoon of, of sugar. Half a tablespoon of sugar. So, and that's going to be all that you need. All right, so um, step number one on your journey through the Taiwanese sea salt iced coffee uh, adventure. Step number one is to make your French press. So here's how we're going to do that. It's a regular French press. So uh, four tablespoons of coffee, as the recipe calls. Again, we got this from Tony Wang. Congratulations again. So one, two, three, and four. Thanks for joining me. Next on our list of important things to do uh, is add your water. You're going to want your water to be about 200 degrees. Golden range for golden temperature golden coffee is between 195 and 205 degrees. So here we go. You want about 16 ounces of water. Oops. Funny thing about these EKGs, um, they're so balanced that if you tip it too far forward, it'll come out the top. Um, but that's uh, not from poor design, that is from poor pouring. So watch out. Okay. All right, so you got your 16 ounces. Go ahead and give it a little twirl. Um. All right, and then to make a nice French press, um, of course, what you're going to want to do is let it steep for about four to six minutes. But there's an additional trickster trick to this. You're also going to want to put this puppy in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. You want it to cool down um, before you add in the rest of the ingredients to the coffee because this is iced coffee and you don't want to dilute your co your coffee experience with melted ice and added water in your recipe. So four to six minutes, let it steep, press it down, put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. All right, we'll be right back. back. We've made our French press and we've let it cool. Uh, so it should be about ready to, for the next step. Um, we've got a little bit of maneuvering to do in the meanwhile, so we're going to let it continue to cool. I'm going to set it aside uh, while we process the next part of this recipe. The next part involves mixing. So for this part, again, what you're going to need, you're going to need uh, a tablespoon of just your average milk. You're going to need um, a, a tablespoon of sugar. You're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. And you're going to need three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Um, and once you have all those things in your coffee, you're good to go. Um, so let's, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and make our brew. 
Step number one, add in all of your stuff. Boy, that's a thick cream. Heavy whipping cream, you know? Just, it, it is what it is. Uh, your milk. Your sugar. And your salt. All right. So, at this point, you could have gone ahead and put this in a blender. Um, if you don't like your food to yell at you, you can always use a whisk instead. So today we're gonna go ahead and use our whisk. So I'm gonna whisk it. What you wanna do is you wanna whisk it until it is thick and fluffy. So you whisk it and you whisk it and you whisk it. Whisk it. Whisk it. Forever. Sure you're supposed to whisk in this manner. But go ahead and experiment with your whisking technique. You know, nobody's written a book about it. Actually, probably someone has. I haven't read it. That's why blenders are useful, though. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm doing a fine job, and it looks good, and I'm done. So, uh, it's, uh, it's fluffy, it is relatively thick, it's definitely fluffy, so alright, I'm ready if you are, here we go. So the next step to this process, you're going to want to have a cup of ice, because this is Taiwanese sea salt iced coffee. Okay, uh, step number one. Fill up your cup with your cold coffee. You want it to be about two thirds full. Step number two, add in your milk concoction. Milk concoction, concoction, milk concoction. It's pretty thick. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a second and just kind of stir it. Okay, and then last but not least, you're gonna add in a little dash of salt to the top. It's about a dash. So, all right. Thanks again, Tony Wang, for this new creation of coffee. Um, you know, and, and um, that's what Seattle Coffee Gear is all about, introducing coffees that you may love so you can figure out how to make the coffee that you love. Um, if you've never had salt in your coffee before, just know lots of people around the world prefer it, not even just like it. They like a lot of people don't put sugar in their coffee, they put salt in instead. So if that's mind-blowing, Give it a try. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Here we go. Ooh, <laughs> it's good. Mm hmm Yeah, that's really good. Mm. It's, it's really good. It's like kind of refreshing. Wakes you up a little bit. A little, um, savory sweetness with the salt and the sugar and the milk and the cream and coffee. Great combination. And it sounds cool because of the ice. 
<laughs> so, yeah, uh, I would say um, out of 10 stars, I'd give this one a solid 8 because it's delicious. All right, um, so keep, keep an eye out for that 10 out of 10 coffee, which we know is coming. If you have an idea on what that 10 out of 10 coffee may be, please let us know. We will totally try your recipe. And maybe next time the confetti will be for you. All right, so thanks for joining us today. Um, I had a great time drinking this coffee, so I appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button because that's what it's there for. Uh, if you have any ideas, again, uh, totally communicate them to us through the comment section. Uh, and we also recommend subscribing so that you can stay on the up and up with all of our crazy coffee content here on Coffee Collaboration with me, Clementine. All right, thanks again, and have a fantastic day. Bye. One teaspoon. Okay. okay, so we're back. We've made our... Step number one. Involve all the stuff. Um, what are these even called? Sparkles? Confetti. Confetti.